All right, folks. So it's that time of the year again where we talk about my favorite art books of 2021. Now, just to be clear, these aren't necessarily books that came out in 2021. These are more to highlight books that I have either bought this year, paid more attention to this year, or just stood out to me. So just like the last time, we're going to be splitting them into categories. Um, so let's just let's just get into it. So the first category of books we're going to look at are Kickstarter books. Now these books are sort of books that came out uh, this year. So like all Kickstarter projects, there's usually about like a year of wait time between backing the project and getting the product. So these books are books that I backed um, middle of last year, somewhere between May and June of last year, and I received them. Uh, about a year later, so early this year. While I did purchase them in 2020, these are new books that just came out, and the two of these, I must say, really, really interesting. It's been a good year for Kickstarter books. So the first one we're gonna look at, we're gonna start off with a bang, is The Labyrinth by Simon Stolenhag. Now, almost every one of these art book videos, I have a Simon Stolenhag book to feature because I buy a lot of his books and I love his artwork. So the artwork in this book is what you'd expect. It's trademark Simon Stolenhag. You have the cool brooding landscapes, evocative of Scandinavian winters, alongside some really, really dark biological horrors, combined with some really cool sci-fi mechs and vehicles. Now, all of Simon's books, including this latest edition, not only does it have really amazing artwork, but it comes along with a really compelling story. And that's what I think makes his books so interesting. Not only are they really nice to look at, they're also a great read. Now this is a Kickstarter book, so you're not going to be able to purchase them unless you find them on the secondhand market. However, there is talks of a hardcover being available at the end of the year. So the printing is second edition, and I guess if you want to find out more or keep up on the news, do follow Simon on his Twitter or social media, just so you know when the release is out. Uh, I love the printing of this book. I, I like it when books have a sort of more matte finish because you know sometimes when you, you read like magazines and things like that and the light is shining on the page and it becomes really hard to see. Yeah, that sort of irks me, especially when it comes to art books because you know, I, I want to see the art. While it is a little bit glossy, you, you can't really avoid it sometimes. Um, is pretty good and I really appreciate that. It also has this really nice cloth bound spine that I, I appreciate and it suits the aesthetic of the book really well. All right, and the next book we have here is Obliscura by Alex Konstad. Now, Alex Konstad, in my mind, is one of the greatest illustrators out there right now. And I think he's a little bit underrated, but that's a conversation for another time. So anyways, he came out with a Kickstarter art book in conjunction with Speridon, and it's based off his world of Obliscura, which is a sort of personal project slash world that he's been working on for or the last few years, and he's finally come up with a book. So Alex Konstad is an illustrator who's worked on projects such as Magic the Gathering and Hearthstone. He does a lot of card illustrations. And what he's known for is his really, really creative creature designs and character designs that are somewhat dark and somewhat creepy and weird, but I think suits the, his style and the uh, world building a lot. So the art in this book is a little bit Lovecraftian and there's a blood magic witchcraft type thing going on here. So uh, when it comes to the binding of this book, it's really beautiful. It's really hefty and really thick. Got really nice foil gold print along the spine and as well as the title on the cover. And because they reach like some sort of um, Kickstarter backer goal, uh, it came with uh, black edges, which I think is such a nice touch. It looks really pretty and looks really beautiful on the bookshelf. And it just fits the aesthetic of the book. Now, just one little gripe um, is, remember how I said the thing about the glossy paint pages? Well, yeah, because this book is like a full page print, right? You're going to sometimes get these reflections on the uh, glossy printing finish. And I would prefer it if they had more of a matte finish because like you can see, it's a little bit hard to see um, in some angles and it can be quite frustrating. 
But this is such a minor complaint. Honestly, it's such a great book. So I am a person who is drawn to not just really pretty art, but also a compelling narrative. And I think Obscura does that as well. It's got really cool world building. You know, the writing in it is very compelling and the language is really well written. And so the combination of these two things in concert create this wonderful experience and it's such a pleasure to have. All right, next up we have the category of reference slash educational art books. Now these are kind of self-explanatory. These are books that are kind of more educational and, and more informational, if you will. So the first one we're gonna look at is John Singer Sargent's Masterpieces of Art by Flame Tree Publishing. Now I think you could get other books by like Tashin or something for John Singer Sargent. I think it works the same, but the idea is just a book with John Singer Sargent's art book. Now John Singer Sargent is one of my favorite painters of all time and this painting on the cover carnation lily lily rose is one of my favorite paintings of all time it's so beautiful and in fact i actually went to london where the painting is at the national gallery of london to study it and look at it in real life and do some studies it's in one of my sketchbooks and if you want to see more of that there's a link in the top corner so click there and check it out so john singer sergeant oh look at this this is one of my uh <laughs> this is when I went to uh, see the Book of Mormon in there. So John Singer Sargent is known for his brushwork and his incredibly, incredibly casual looking brush strokes. So he paints it really, really loose or what seems to be very loose brush strokes. But in reality, these take a lot of time and consideration and he's, he does multiple versions just to make it look like he's not trying, even though he's trying really, really hard and he's thinking about it a lot. When he paints, it doesn't show because he's done a lot of study and a lot of work beforehand. Another thing that Sargent is known for is his control of color and exposure. So, you know, he has this very signature looseness in his paintings. And with that comes very, very thoughtful, intelligent use of color. And so that's one thing that I am always looking for when I'm studying his paintings. So this book has most of his most notable works. And I think that's that's good enough. There's a little bit of backstory to each one, like a small little caption about the painting or the models in this painting, the subjects in this painting, as well as the medium and the year in which it was painted. So yeah, if you haven't seen any of Sargent's work, definitely do check him out. If you're really interested in knowing more and studying his work, do get yourself a copy of a book like this. It doesn't necessarily have to be this exact book, but you know, just like a Sargent painting book. So the next book in the category of information, no books, is this one. This little book called The Universal Principles of Design by William Lidwell, Christina Holden, and Joe Butler. Now this book is a book that I've had for a long time. Now you can see it's sort of like coming apart from age and use. But what it is, is essentially some sort of a pocket book that is a glossary for all the uh, design principles and design terms. Now. A lot of people come asking me or, you know, it's something that I've asked myself too. Like, you know, how do I get better at design? Like, I know how to get better at art. You draw perspective, you draw color, you do still lives. But what about design? Where do I start? Well, I think this book is a really good place to start. You're not necessarily going to get a lot of information or in-depth knowledge about all these principles but it is a starting point and at least you know where to look so think of it not as the information itself but a an index of all the information available out there so if you want to learn more about performance load or mimicry or inattentional blindness for example um, you can definitely go and do further research on the topic but at least this is sort of like an index on all the things that are available to you for you to study. It's really, really short and sweet and really easy to understand. So not only is this a really great book, I think it's a really good gift, especially for your designer friends or someone who's going to art school. It could prove really, really handy for them. And it's just really nice. All right, so because the title of this video is my favorite art books of 2021, I'd be hard pressed to not mention these two books. 
So these two books are The Art of Space Battleship Yamato 2199, the 2012 remake. I've made an entire video on this book specifically. Um, there's a link up there, go, go check it out or whatever. But I've only had these for uh, about a couple of months and already these are my favorite books, not only of 2021, but of all time. So these two books come in a set. Each book is dedicated to a faction in the anime. So this book is for the Earth faction and this book is for the Gramillus faction. And in these books are really, really beautiful line art, line drawings, pe mostly pencil, drawings of spaceships, interiors, tech stuff, mech stuff, you know, that stuff that I like. Um, there's a lot of cutaways, there's a lot of set designs, a lot of prop designs as well, and it just appeals to my sensibility. Now this book is in Japanese, so I don't really understand uh, a lot of the stuff, the text that's in there, but honestly, it's not really necessary. A lot of it's self-explanatory anyways, and, and you're kind of just looking at the art, really. You're not, you're not really going to read any of this, are you? So these books are pretty old, um, and they are out of print, so you'd be hard pressed to find it on like somewhere in like a Barnes and Nobles or Amazon even, but you could still find them online on eBay or the secondhand market, like I said, but you're going to have to get these two books separately. They don't come in a set, they come individually. And so you're going to have to buy two of these on their own. And I will say they're not the cheapest books to get, especially not in this condition. Now these are used, so the edges are a little bit scuffed here, but generally because I bought these from Japan, um, Japanese people are really good at taking care of their stuff. And so anything you buy secondhand from the Japanese market, uh, usually it's going to be in pretty good condition, almost new. And I had to find it. I had to look really hard for an example of these two copies that are in the condition that they are. Now they do come in this cardboard dust jacket slash box thing that is a little bit worse for wear so you see the edges are kind of scuffed here and there but uh, it doesn't matter it's okay and, and i don't really use these anyways i just keep them these two books for now are perpetually living on my tabletop so they sit on my table when i work and whenever i need reference or i just want to look for inspiration or just have a little bit of free time on my hand i will just look through these books because they are just that great so there you have it my favorite art books of 2021 um if you like this video, oh, by the way, I have an art book too. So if you want to check it out, there's a link down there to like go buy it. It's a digital art book. It's only $7.90. I just thought it'd be convenient to mention it because I'm, I'm doing a video on art books. Okay, so if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. Have a good day. Goodbye. Thank you for watching.